Hey guys, Bizzo here, back in the rock shop again. We got a lot of stuff going on today, so we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into it. To start, the wheels have been burnishing overnight, so we're going to wash them out and see what the final product looks like. That's a soapy mess. some water out here and wash these off see what they look like Now that did make a big difference in my opinion. I'm setting up the wheels and the cutters over here to get into it, but first, these tumble stones come out pretty nice. I like them. There's a bunch of different types in there. Tiger's Eye, Citrine, Jadeite, Unikite, different Jaspers. But next, here we go. I got a sample lot of Sunstone. Some of these are a little big and can be popped down in half. So I'm going to break these down and we're going to set up the next run, Sunstone. And we're going to set up the saw. Trying to make sure we got a good alignment here. It seems like there was a little bit of a tweak. So we're working on this here. So here's that sunstone broke up in there with the, start with medium grit cause it's soft, softer than that river quartz. And it, Jim recommends this polishing compound that it's gonna take it beyond what that burnishing compound did. So there's uh, nothing to lose there. We're going to try it out. So we're going to wet these down and get them in the tumblers. Got that big piece of calcite from Cars and Crocs breaking in there. And it's just starting to make its first cut. Here we go. I got recently, the one I want to see what happens to the most is this one. It's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to start on the big wheels and see if I can flatten down these spaces. And I'm going to leave this back area exposed. You can see the garnet. It's green. So this is going to be a lot of fun.
Oh yeah. Let's turn this piece into another cut. Looking good. pieces off of this and it, it's got some good lines in it you know it's not too bad but this top piece here it's going to flake off on any piece so just the first piece to try out and here's what I got you know, it's a nice little diamond shape Right pieces come out super nice. If I hold it in the light, you see lots of colors coming through on that. So I'm gonna rub this real quick and see what what comes what's left at the end. Before we look at that cut we're going to jump on to the green stone here and give it a cut and see what it looks like i'm pretty interested to see what's going on inside when we get some banding it's going to be really good so we're going to go ahead and fire it up. the garnet here is looking like it's going to need a lot a lot of work all the jimmy stuff seems to be on the bottom and you feel the stone it feels off balance and density too, like all this outer stuff isn't going to be so jimmy. So it's going to take quite some time to get it to what I think it's going to be. So we're going to work on that slowly. So here's the calcite piece we first we just cut. Uh, there was a cut made on the bottom, kind of flattened it out a little bit, and then it was cut in half. Pretty good on the half judgment. It's kind of odd to tell from where it's pinched and where the saw blade is. But when we open it up, you see here there is some mineralization running through. And I believe that is azurite and malachite, along with some other iron things running around. But you can see that's very blue and that's very green. Look at that. Copper minerals. Working on that last cut for the day, but check this out, guys. Jim uh, gave me a nice little piece of carnelian to work on. You can see some spray and some colors in there. I'm going to be working on that for too long. It's pretty cool. And 
this stone that we don't know what it is. But check this out. What is this? Neat. That's gonna make some neat stuff in the future. That stone from Carson Prospect that I polished on last week, and you see it transformed from, from this to this when polished. And this piece here had all the calcite crystals on the outside. I cut it off and revealed some nice things inside. Some nice bookends for the shop right there. We got even more new stones to work with and this one, this guy, and this guy. And here's the four stones that I really worked on to almost a finished product today. They're not exact. They're pretty rough. I'd have to really take them down and I saw an experiment on this appetite. If I do any more it could fracture the pieces. This is going to take a lot more work to get it to where I want it to be. That's a neat start. Maybe uh, a few more sessions and it'll turn out nice. But you can see on the back it is kind of greenish and there is one of these guys. I don't know what you call that kind of, kind of pit. Crystal channeling. And the saw is done. Time for the reveal. Let's see what happened. this piece oh wow it is more swirled in there than I thought it would be neat so uh, that was a lot more impressive than I could expected that swirling instead of banding gives it a you know a real neat nature you can do a lot of stuff with this but this is acting I guess is how the trace minerals with the olivine and other things in there it's acting like it's a lot harder than 3.5 on calcite yeah it's like five five or six it's uh pretty hard to break with a hammer pretty hard to cut here it does polish relative relatively easy though but so do things in the six range but wow look at that color beautiful Turned out to be a pretty nice day in the shop. We got some things done. I forgot I had this piece of Laramar in my pocket. We'll have to get that another time. And we still didn't get that Falcon out and play with that one rock. But we will do that too. And we'll be crushing rocks soon. We got mercury and gold. And we got a whole box of this stuff to slab. And we got boxes and boxes of rocks everywhere. So we got a lot of stuff working and a lot of stuff coming to turn out here. I'll tell you what, just need to get some time in here to get it done. That's all the time I got for today. Time to go to work. But until next time, get in the rock shop and turn some rocks out. <laughs>